I think that the body can do so much of the work. In There's a chapter in Happy Days that's called Hiding Behind the Body. And that's a whole chapter on the ways that we ref reflect our trauma onto the body so that we don't have to actually face the impermissible rage, trauma, fear, mm. terror, shame. Mm. So sometimes for many people, and I imagine many yogis listening, the mat, the yoga practice, could be the first therapist you've ever had mm. because it guides you to release and face into safely truncated, trapped energy hmm. that has a lot of history. So there's a lot of those kinds of practices that I'm being called to share with you particularly because hmm. this, is, this is the place where I believe that someone like yourself, while you're perceived as a teaching yoga, you're also a space holder for people's transformation and you've your avenue has been through the body and so it's really mm -hmm. profound because a lot of people may be opening a book like this and they're like damn you know gabby i'll read this book but i'm not ready to like mm -hmm. look more closely at all the parts of myself or i'm not sure i want to look at my triggers or feel into my feelings but at the body-based work i can get to first and i actually have recommended mm -hmm. that to most of my readers that are like activated by the book or maybe they're just just there's a lot too much shame the shame freeze is so up for them go to the body go to the body go to the body and in the book i reference the work of peter levine who's the founder of somatic experiencing which is a body-based trauma therapy and the thesis is that when we we don't even really have to work on the storyline we can just move it through the body and that when we have an unresolved trauma whether it be a big t trauma or a small t trauma Big T meaning living through a catastrophic event, being abused, sexual violence, whereas a small T trauma could be you were told you were stupid by a teacher when you were in sixth mm -hmm. grade or a boy you liked just did, you know made you feel like you were inadequate. Whatever it might have been, being bullied, these mm -hmm. small T traumas are big still. Mm -hmm. In the case of bullying, they take people's lives. Mm -hmm. So we have to witness what happens to the body. The body freezes the fight flight full response and completion of that full release of that energy that goes into hyper state it doesn't get released it gets trapped in the body and in the nervous system and so for some people going straight to the body first is the safest way in to facing that deeper unresolved wound